Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well tonight I have a little bit of a different uh, video coming to you. It's video game based. There's not going to be any video game playing or footage that I'm aware of. That could change though in editing. We'll see. Uh, tonight's video is going to be about my favorite PlayStation 1 video games. Now, just like with anything, video games, movies, TV, music, a book, uh, whatever uh, the case may be, we can only say our favorites based on what we've played, okay? There was probably a thousand releases in North America for the PlayStation 1. I could be wrong, but I'm probably close. Um, I didn't play a thousand games. I had a lot of them, but I don't remember a lot of what I had, and uh, a lot of them weren't my favorites anyway. So uh, I just made kind of a little list of the top games that instantly come to mind whenever I think of my days with the PlayStation 1. Um, so let's get on that real quick like. Alright, one of my number one games of all time I'm gonna leave that for the last I'm gonna leave it for the last let me get that out of the way all right one of my games you might not think I like although you might think I like just because I live in the south I'm not big on car games and uh, I never thought that I would be big on this game and I actually do have the physical game uh, this one is NASCAR 98 and this game was really my first introduction really into NASCAR uh, video games got the manual got the game it all works I played it not too long ago um, what uh, what I had on my PlayStation was a uh, I had the uh, the steering wheels and all that and uh, and having steering wheels for a driving game like this especially really brings uh, the fun factor up a whole lot. Now, uh, as far as playing faster, uh, more twitchier car games, uh, racing in that, uh, I don't know. But something kind of on the slow-mo, you know, something that's more controlled like NASCAR, really a lot, it, it just ups the fun factor a lot. Um, and I just enjoy it. And the soundtrack for it, I don't like country, but uh, there's a song, the main song for this uh, game pops up, and it's something that I really like, and I catch myself singing it or humming it or a piece of it that I know, and I can't even think of the name of it. Eh, anyway, I might put that song title somewhere in here. You never know. But anyway, good game. If you have never tried it, yes, it's outdated. Yes, the graphics today are amazing. But this is still worth a play if you don't mind the outdated graphics in that. Another game and another series, I might say, uh, not just a game, that I enjoyed and love and I think of dearly whenever I think of the PlayStation 1 is the original Tomb Raider. Now, I never beat Tomb Raider. I'm not going to sit here and say I did. Very difficult game. And it's not necessarily the the gameplay or, or the, uh, the actual game itself isn't super hard. What's really hard is uh, the gameplay mechanics. The tank controls, if you will. The controls are horrible. Oh, God. That's what kills the game. But this game is so legendary. The soundtrack, the visuals, Laura Croft and her pointy boobs. Man, what guy didn't love that? We all loved Laura Croft and her pointy boobs, didn't we? We still do. I ain't gonna lie. Got the game, got the manual in here. Again, I'm not a big collector at, at all, but there's a couple of these games that I have. 
Um, and the first three games in this series, to me, are the classics. They're good. Uh, I never did necessarily play them in depth, but I have touched base on them. And uh, really, just legendary games. And I wish that I had the patience to go and play through them. Now, they did do some remakes. Uh, I did play the remake of this one, I believe. And I got a long ways in it, if it's the one I'm thinking about. Um, and it was it was really good. The controls are way better. Uh, but they do have a remake of that. And even though I stand by the original, you could also try the remake if you want. But originals are always good. You know, you got to stick to them. And here's another one. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of racing games. But whenever I bought this game... Of course, a lot of these games, man, I was on top of them back then uh, with the PlayStation 1 era. Uh, so a lot of these games I would get, you know, pretty much day one. Um, I, used to, I used to spend a lot of money on games. Thankfully, I had a really cool wife, and she didn't mind. But uh, this game is Gran Turismo. This is the original Gran Turismo. Good game. Um, I do have the manuals to it and the game and all that stuff both manuals uh, very good game uh, it, graphically of course everything has moved on but still to me it still looks good it plays good it has a very floaty mechanic and very a very twitchy mechanic that you've got to get used to but once you get used to it, you get to where you can really go around the corners and stuff. Now, I'm not at that point now. Because I haven't played it. I don't play games all that often. But, uh, there was, a, you know, back when I was playing all the time, I got to where I could really control it pretty well. But it's real easy to get spun out and out of control and just crazy uh, until you learn how. And, uh, I don't have the, I don't have the games in hand, uh, all of them. But uh, WCW Nitro, awesome game. Um, if you love wrestling, and of course at the time, boy, wrestling was booming. Uh, the mid-90s up, especially until the early, early 2000s, like 2003-ish maybe. Uh, wrestling was massive. Uh, you were WCW and you were WWF or you were both. or I was both. Uh, eventually I became a fan of both. But uh, WCW Nitro is awesome. Good characters. They have uh, cool animations when you're picking the characters. And, and uh, buttons, uh, a button you can push and they'll do their little saying or whatever. And uh, uh, just a fantastic game. Uh, the gameplay, in my opinion, uh, still holds up. I played it not too awful long ago. You just got to relearn all the, all the controls and stuff. And it's been so long since I played it that really I didn't do any good. But uh, I gave it a shot. And a fantastic game if you like it. There's there's a, a handful of other wrestling games that have really done well uh, in the past, but uh, I didn't get I didn't dig too deep into them. I did have a couple of other ones, but uh, mainly I just want to talk about WCW WCW Nitro. Good game. Another series of games. I don't have them physically, but. I did have them, and I did beat them, and that is Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. The originals, the OGs, uh, even the original, uh, before the director's cut, uh, OG Resident Evil. I had it. Long box, I believe, is when it first came out. Uh, I had the PlayStation long box, I believe, a a as well as I had the, I believe I had the long box for Twisted Metal 1. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but no, that's another thing. Anyway, the Resident Evil games, 1 through 3, beautiful games. Now, they, they have recently released uh, an, uh, updated versions of Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, and they have done really well uh, with critics and, and, and everybody, and, and, the, and they look beautiful. They control a lot better. Again, th these games have those tank controls where... They're really difficult kind of to control sometimes, and the camera angles are buggy and, and, and kind of get you confused sometimes, but incredible games. The first time I ever seen them, uh, seen Resident Evil with my eyes, I was like, holy crap. 
and uh, I, I ran out and got it. Uh, the first time I seen it was at my wife's parents' house. Her little brother was downstairs in the basement playing on their old school big screen, you know, uh, big TV. I walked down there and I was like, what in the world are you playing, man? Holy crap. It was amazing. Uh, that's also where I've seen another game that I'll talk about, too, for the first time. But anyways, Resident Evil 1 through 3, if you haven't played them, I recommend them highly. Wonderful games and classics. Uh, you can play the originals. I would recommend. You just got to get used to the controls and stuff like that. But they are. But they do have the remakes. Uh, Resident Evil 3 remake isn't out yet, but it is uh, close to coming out. So good games, incredible games. Uh, another game that I did play and I beat, loved it. It was a really easy game, as a matter of fact. Oddly enough, I remember beating it like had no problem at all beating it. It was. Uh, it was just a, a easy game, but it was creepy and eerie and the atmosphere and everything. And that is Silent Hill 1. Now, there's a whole slew of Silent Hill games out there. But, to be honest, I've only really played the first one. Uh, I know I'm missing out. There's a couple of other good ones off in there that I've seen reviews on in the past. But, uh, Silent Hill 1 started it all. Good, good game. Uh, the controls on it, to me, are a little bit better than on the Resident Evil games. And the cameras and stuff aren't quite as bad. Uh, but it's super creepy, man. It's the atmosphere, just like with the Resident Evil games. Uh, they just had the atmosphere and everything perfect. And uh, it, it was way before all this new stuff come out where everything's just really just in your face and, and kind of a little much. This was, you know, in the beginnings of, of, of this whole really new era of video games. And uh, Silent Hill uh, did a really good job at uh, bringing the creep factor. So if you haven't played Silent Hill, the original, I recommend playing that. Very good game if you like those type of survival, uh, survival horror games. And, on a side note, yes I do like the Silent Hill movies. I think they're great. I've watched the first one like probably a dozen times. Uh, seen it at the theater. I couldn't wait for it to come out on uh, DVD at the time. I, I loved it. I thought it was good. A lot of people don't, but I liked it. I thought it was pretty creepy. Um, and now we're going to get to the top dog of them all for me on the PlayStation 1. There's not a game series that I played more on the PlayStation 1. It started with the first of the series, but it ended, and that's all I needed, when the second game came out. And that is my beloved, wonderful, amazing Twisted Metal 2. Wow, what can I say? Hours upon hours upon hours and hours and hours and hours, years of fun with this game. Now the first one uh, was introduced and I loved it. I got it day one, fell in love with it. Uh, it, it has its goods and its bads and I, I recommend trying it just uh, for nostalgic sake. But when Twisted Metal 2 hit, it just upped the game a uh, hundred times. It's just uh, amazing. The controls, uh, kind of like Gran Turismo, they're all over the place. But once you learn how to control your car, man, you can go full blast with turbo and slide around corners and whip around and shoot uh, shoot rockets and stuff while you're turning. Uh, you learn how to do all that fancy stuff. And uh, there's several several good sized maps and there's other maps that you can get in here by putting in codes uh, and there's there's weapons you can use that are that are uh, on the screen and then there's some that you can use by using codes as well so uh man uh, the countless hours and days that I played this game with my my boys and my nephew uh, Brandon and my my best friend John Colius and uh, 
even my buddy uh, Steve Arnold, who didn't who didn't play a ton of games, but whenever I got Twisted Metal one, uh, he played all the time with me. Uh, he, he fell in love with that too. But uh, I was better than all of them. <laughs> uh, no, really. You didn't want to challenge me. I would kill you. Beautiful, wonderful, fun game. And uh, just to let you know that I don't have any tattoos. But over the years, I've wanted to get a Twisted Metal tattoo of some kind. And I've looked at all kinds of different ones and everything. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I'd want to get tattooed on my body. But I do believe if you're going to get a tattoo, it needs to have real significance, real meaning. It needs to be something you're passionate about and love. And there are video games that I'm that way about that I just absolutely love. And, I mean, I just get very uh, almost, you know, emotional. Not crying necessarily emotional, but just just so excited and and so happy and joyful to even talk about them. And Twisted Metal 2 is one of them. Uh, there are other games in the Twisted Metal franchise that uh, did well or did okay. And uh, one of those is on the PlayStation 2. It's Twisted Metal Black. And the other one's on the PlayStation 3. Uh, the Twisted Metal. I think that's all it was called. I got it too. Um, but we're not talking about those systems. This is all PS1. But yeah. This game, awesome. I, I recommend it. If, if you got friends that will play with you. <laughs> if you got friends that like to hang out. And they'll play games. That's amazing. You'll have all kinds of fun with it, man. It's crazy. Good stuff. And I do have some honorable mentions. And these games, I probably never beat. I probably never will. But they're honorable mentions because I liked them. Uh, and a couple of them are classics and legendary anyway. Uh, one of them is Spyro. Uh, I only really, I don't know if there's more Spyro games. I've only played the first one, as far as I know. And uh, it's a good game. Uh, nice little platformer, 3D kind of world platformer. Good game. I'm not going to go into detail about these, but uh, it is a good game. I recommend them. Good stuff. Crash Bandicoot. Now, there's like a handful of games for that on the PlayStation 1. Really, I only played, I only bought and played the first one. I got a good little ways in it. I don't believe I ever beat it. Probably never will. But it's a good game. It, it, it's, again, kind of a, uh, a platformer, and it's in different views. It's, you know, you're running out past, you know, like going that way, and the camera's kind of over you like this, and it's showing everything going that way. Sometimes you're running towards the camera when you're running away from maybe uh, a, an animal or a boulder or something. Uh, so the camera views on that are kind of interesting. It's a very fun game. It's tough. But it's interesting and it's legendary as well. Um, and another one that a lot of people know nothing about is Parappa the Rapper. Now, I don't have the game, of course, on this one. I always wanted it, never got it. It's kind of a uh, rhythm-based game. Uh, uh, where, where the Also, where the I think the, the buttons come up oh, and you're supposed to hit the button at that time. I can't remember, but I think that's how it goes. But it's like a rhythm game, and they and they kind of sing, and, and you gotta move and dance and and whatever to the beat and whatever. Uh, think DDR only, not really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Parappa the Rapper is one of those uh, just kind of cult classic, kind of under the radar games that uh, are really cool. So uh, and again, guys, uh, there's a a thousand PlayStation One games. That, that you could go through but these are just the ones that go through my mind that I love and I hold dearly to my heart and uh, that you know they go down in history as uh, what I consider some of the best games uh, for the PlayStation 1 uh, now a lot of these a lot of these games as a matter of fact all of them that I named uh, all of them that I've named I actually have on my PlayStation Classic um, of course, the PlayStation Classic comes with just a handful of games, and 90% of them suck. But the PlayStation Classic is very easy to mod. 
I modded mine like almost instantly whenever I got it for Christmas. Uh, my wife bought it for me. And uh, I instantly modded it. It was very easy to do. There's all kinds of videos and stuff on YouTube. If you haven't got a PlayStation Classic, I recommend getting one and I recommend modding it. If you need some help, uh, you can probably hit me up. I might can help you a little bit. I'm not super knowledgeable on that stuff because I have to research and do all that stuff myself. But uh, I might can help you out a little bit. But uh, if you don't have a Classic, do that. Or if you want to get an old school and go and get uh, an original console, man, you can't beat them, man. PlayStation Classic, uh, it's a classic console that really changed uh, the way uh, gaming is done. And, and uh, uh, it started at, at that point. Um, it, it's led us into where we are today. Really, it has. Uh, you can say the N64 as well. I didn't like the N64. I had it. Uh, I got it almost a day it launched, but I just never could get into it too much because the controller sucked. Nintendo can't make a controller. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, something kind of different. Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'm going to have any little video game footage popping in and out of here. I don't know. But uh, if not, hey, it is what it is. At least you know a little bit more about me and whatever, uh, and what games I liked on the PlayStation 1. Uh... Hey, in the comments, tell me what you liked. Tell me what games you liked on the PlayStation 1 only. Only the PlayStation 1. Let me know if you got a classic. Let me know if you've got it modded. Let me know if you want help getting it modded. Hit me up in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. I do all this for free. Why? Why, you ask? Because I enjoy it. it gives me something to do. I hope to inspire you guys to do things such as... Get up, get out, get ready and do it to it by doing video games, tennis, hiking, walking, jogging, riding a bike, working out, putting a puzzle together, coloring, taking, uh, doing photography, I don't know, anything you want to do to get your mind moving, to get your, uh, may get your body moving, your mind moving, your heart pumping, your lungs going, anything that you truly enjoy and you have a passion for, do it. And do it to it. Also, check out my shirts. I'm going to put a picture up right here. Check out my shirts. For a good cause. I really don't make any money on them. It's just to get my name out there. And to get the brand out there. To get the message out there. To do what? To get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. That's all we can do, guys. We'll see y'all later. Have a good night.